Hey guys! So, uh, this really is the fifth time I'm re-recording this video, which is really sad. But, um, I found out that my camera, um, not my camera, my laptop, ran out of memory while I was filming. So, and I didn't know this, like, until the end. So, it's really sad because, like, it wouldn't, like, save because there wasn't any memory left. I was like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, um, I was, like, talking about high school because if you guys didn't know, um, I'm going to be a freshman in a couple months, like two months or a month and a half. And I was just, like, thinking, okay, I may be a freshman, but, like, I actually... I don't know what I'm getting into, but at the same time, I know what I'm going to do. Like, I'm scared to go into high school. I will tell the truth and tell you that I am scared because it is a whole new experience and it is like completely new and foreign in a sense that the campus is bigger like, there are more people, and knowing me, I'm going to get lost. And on some days, I'm going to be late. And it'll take me a while to adjust because, like, you're not going to be the oldest. You're going to be the bottom, at, like, starting over. But since you're starting over, why not start it right? And, like... When you think about it, okay, your parents tell you what to do, tell you what to think some of the time, but do you honestly, like, do you want them to control you your whole lives? Like, this is basically your transition from becoming, like, you get to start being an adult now, so why not, like, get a hold of it and get a feel for what you're going to get yourself into because there's no stopping it but like seriously why not do it right like think about it in high school there's always that stereotype of a bully and like I don't know about you but when I see a bully like I see Buford from Phineas and Ferb like I know that's really weird but that's what I see when I see a bully. Or if you, when you were little, you saw that show Totally Spies, like I would see Mandy and I would laugh because I can remember her name's Lee voice and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just, if you know someone who's being bullied or you see someone being bullied, like, um, it's just, why are you just standing if you see someone being bullied, why do you, why just stand there? Because, like, eventually one day you're gonna need someone's help. And what goes around comes around. Like, think about it. After, like, what you've done, like, when you think about what you did before, do you, are you going to get the help? Like, are you gonna get help now? Like, um, why not, like, start helping? Why not stand up for someone who you, you may not even know, or you, probably, you might not like, but still, why not just stand up for them? Like, what do you got, what have you got to lose? Like, the only thing you've got to lose is your dignity by not helping them. And that's how I feel. I would feel guilty if I saw someone, someone being bullied and I didn't help. So yeah, it's, um, also if you're the one being bullied and you feel, like, alone, you're never alone. No one's ever, like, really alone. And, like, you may look around you and say, and think, but no one's, no one's helping me. No one's, no one's, like, sticking up for me. Well, that's not completely true. Someone could stick up for you. Like, someone could help you. You never know what's going to happen, but around you there is always at least one person who cares. And I say that with like, 
I, I say that as loosely as I can. At least one person cares about you, someone around you. Like, to tell the truth, I'm the kind of person who will defend my friends with everything I have got. Like, I will, like, kick and scream and do everything I can to help my friends and defend them. Or, like, like, I'm just the kind of person who's there for my friends. But even for someone I hardly know or don't like, if someone's messing with them, then I would stand up for them. Like, unless they really did some, do something really bad. Like, if they stole something, depending on who it's from or why they did it, like, I would probably stand up for them. Because if they're being bullied, it's still wrong. Like, like there's a difference between um, being bullied, being the bully, and just, like, trying to work things out. Like, if someone, like, um, stole money from you, and you got really mad and worked up over it, like, don't just go up to them and start shoving them and making fun of them and, like, getting all mean. Like, ask why they did it. Try to figure out why and see if you can, like, get it back, like, without making everything such a complete and big deal, because if you do something that you regret, like, um, at the end of the day, you are the person who has to live with yourself. You have to look at yourself in the mirror. You have to go to bed at night or at, like, one in the morning, knowing what you did that day. And if you did do something good, like, stick up for the little person or whatever, then you're going to be so much happier with yourself. You're going to be able to sleep so much better knowing you did the right thing rather than the person who, like, is happy knowing that, like, they bullied someone. If someone's happy that they did that, then that's so not good. That's, like, one day that's going to come back to bite you in the butt. Like, seriously. But, um, there is always going to be someone who cares about you around you. Whether it's like a friend or a family member or someone you don't even know like that will care about you eventually. Because like you never know who's out there who could like care about you and help you. You just have to like, sometimes you actually do have to reach out and ask for help. But sometimes it's going to be like a silent call for help, you know, like, if you see a car, if, like, you see those shows where a bully's, like, backing a kid up against their locker, and they're, like, too scared to actually scream for help, then chances are they're gonna need help, so why not help them, because if I went to sleep thinking, oh my god, I let that kid get hurt, like, I would be so devastated with myself, I'd have trouble sleeping. And, like, this doesn't just apply to bullying, this applies to your actions, too, like, in general, like, okay, you, you could go to a party or do your homework. Like, oh, well, you've got a big test tomorrow. Um, and, you know, you don't really know the material very well, do you really want to film? And then, at the party, oh, wait, the cute guy I like is going to be there. Um, chances are that guy can wait. Like, if it were me, I'd be like, like, depending on what subject it is, if it was history, I would, thank God, freshman year, I'm not taking history. Um, if it were history, I'd be like, no, I have to study. But if it were math, then I'd probably be like, okay, I'll study for half an hour and then I'll go to the party. Like, have balance and know your boundaries because, like, know your strengths, know your weaknesses. Like, if you're really good in a couple subjects, chances are, like, you'll need to study, like, if it's new material. But if you're really bad in, like, some subjects, like, me, I'm really bad in history just because it's really hard for me to pay attention. So, like, I wouldn't just, like, go to a party and not study and knowing, like, I'd have 
some assignment due or something. It's just, like, pick your moments. Like, when can you have fun? When do you have to be serious? Because, like, if you keep doing that, when you keep, if you keep slacking off, you're going to do that your whole life if you get too used to it. So this is your turn, this is your time to start shaping your adulthood. Like, I'm pretty sure you want to be happy and you don't want to be that that hobo on the street digging through the trash can, trying to find cans just so you can get a bite to eat. I think you want to be that person with a happy family and people who are willing to take care of you and be happy with you and share your life with you like those happy like those people who are willing to be happy and can be happy because you did the hard work and like made it possible for you and the people you love to be happy so yeah it's like it all starts at the beginning the beginning of your school year the beginning of high school the beginning of your day why not start it off right? I saw that, like, it reminds me of that new to grain commercial, like, where there's two, like, options. And that one girl chose the new green bar or a donut. Like, do you want to go through a life eating the unhealthy stuff that makes you feel sick and disgusted with yourself? Or do you want to go through life with, like, the new to grain bar, start off healthy and go to bed at night feeling awesome. So it's your choice. What do you want to do with it? So with that said, um, bye, good luck, keep smiling, and stay beautiful.